a quick tutorial video for anyone that's struggling to get the afterpay icon to show up in their footer payment icons here. So you may be in a situation where you've already added afterpay. Afterpay is active in the payment settings here, but for some reason it just doesn't show up uh, in the footer payment methods. So there's a pretty quick and easy fix for that. Uh, you do need to edit a little bit of code, but I'm going to show you how you can do it on almost any theme because they're all quite similar. So first thing we're going to do is go to online store into the theme code editor. Okay, next we're going to click actions and then edit code. Okay, and we're looking for a file called footer.liquid. Almost every theme will have a file that's called either footer.liquid or it might be footer template or something like that. But basically here it is footer.liquid. And we're going to look for a block of code that mentions the payment methods. So it'll be somewhere near the bottom, not that far. But here it is. If section settings show payment methods, and then we have this for loop here. Okay, so that says for every type of payment method in the enabled payment types, which we enable through the settings, through payment settings, output this HTML. And this HTML is just a list item with the payment type, and then it links to um, payment images that are already uploaded, that are already built into Shopify. Right? So you don't need to actually upload a new icon for Afterpay. They're actually already in Shopify. We just need to get them to show up. So all we're going to do is we're going to copy this this entire line of HTML. And we're going to add a new line after the for loop and paste that. And then instead of type, we want to manually tell it what we want to show, which icon we want to show. And the name of the icon is simply after pay. So you type it like this, it has to go in in quote, in quotation marks. And what this does is it just adds another list item after this loop, right? So it just adds it one time. And all of this, this loop plus our addition, it gets captured because we have this capture payment methods here. And it gets captured in this variable called payment methods, which is output later on here. But that's not really important. Basically, we've already done what we need to do. So hit save. And then we can refresh. And it should be showing up. And there it is. So really quick and easy fix. Um, your theme might not have this exact code. But it would definitely will have something like, oops, it definitely will have something like for type in shop dot enabled payment method uh, payment types. This is pretty standard code that that happens in almost every theme. So good luck and leave a comment if you need any help with it.